It's clean and green and uh, this morning I've got uh, Need Energy's uh, co-founder and team leader Leroy Nyangani. Good morning Leroy and welcome. Good morning Leander. Uh, thank you so much for having me. Thank you very much uh, for making time to be with us. I also have Desire Masunda, co-founder and operations uh, leader for Need Energies. Good morning Desire. Morning Leander. Uh, thanks for having us. Great. Very appreciative of the fact that uh, you guys are here. Now let's start where we need to start. What is Need Energies? Who is Need Energies? Yeah, well, basically Need Energy is a clean energy tech startup uh, that has a vision or a mission to increase clean energy access in Africa through the use of modern technologies like data science, machine learning and AI. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I want to go to that uh, AI, but uh, you you talk about tech, you talk about clean energy. Desire, I want to come to you. What are we talking about when we're talking about clean energy? Well, we are talking about renewables. Yeah, There's a movement, there's an energy transition where we are moving from the traditional fossil fuels, which was the oil and gas, and we are moving to more clean sources of energy, which come from either the sun or the wind. Mm-hmm. And basically, this is this is our main focus when we talk about renewables and clean energy. Yeah. I'm still of the opinion that uh, very few people actually understand what clean energy is about and why it's important. Um, I want to come to you, Leroy. Do you you feel that Zimbabwe has a full appreciation of what clean energy is about and what the benefits are? Yeah, I, I think the movement is global now uh, and we are not spared. Uh, I remember last week I was in a conference with uh, UNDP uh, and the Minister of Energy. Uh, the environment uh, or the mood in the room it was that of people who are actually accepting uh, the transition uh, from where we are coming from mm. in terms of the energy industry to a future where renewables uh, are actually leading the way uh, which is also our focus and in general if you walk around suburbs you would see most houses are now adopting solar rooftops as an alternative source of energy and most people are using lpg which is considered a clean energy or a transition fuel for their cooking and heating so i think yeah zimbabwe is actually in the right track uh, you'll be surprised really about very yeah. encar- very encouraging i love to hear the sound of that um uh, desire ai um what is ai you've already told us what clean energy is about but you guys are saying you want to make clean energy accessible through ai what is that okay. ai tell us about this yeah so ai is what artificial intelligence i think most of uh, people hear that on social media on tv on talk on, on documentaries mm-hmm. basically it is us feeding data uh, into our machines uh, like your computers or your uh, your, your supercomputers especially in our case uh, we use that data so as to allow the machines to make their own decisions uh, when it comes to the provision of renewable energy right the reason why we adopt machine learning or ai is we are solving one of the world's most difficult problems to solve. Africa has over 600 million people without access to power. Uh, Mm. You can imagine giving power to 600 million people. Mm. So normal humans or engineers like me really don't have a a proper answer uh, to that. So that is why we adopt technologies like AI, you know, to simulate how are we going to deploy our renewables to 600 million people, be it on the grid or off the grid. So, yeah, basically that is pretty much the use of AI uh, where we have designed algorithms and models uh, that are planning on how we can deploy renewables quite optimally, uh, one, and also cost effectively, which is what we need in Africa really to have more capital being put and being used optimally to deploy these renewable energy technologies. You have uh, broken down for me uh, what clean energy is about and what AI is about, artificial intelligence. So this has a lot to do with technology. But uh, I would love you guys um, to to paint a picture to someone who's listening right now. They know about clean energy. They now know what AI, AI is about. But what exactly does need energy? What exactly are you guys going to be doing? with this technology about clean energy. Describe to me in one minute, I saw you guys pitching in 10 minutes, which is <laughs> absolutely amazing. I think it was Old Mutual and uh, the British Council. You guys right. did an amazing presentation, but I want you to do this in a minute. Tell me exactly what you guys will be doing on the ground. All right. So basically we have two projects uh, on the ground. 
So the first one in layman's terms, we are building the Zesa for LPG gas, right? Mm-hmm. So we are installing smart meters that work in the same way as your Zesa smart meters where you have the capability or the ability to prepare for your gas and also to monitor that gas in real time. So mm-hmm. basically we are the ZETDC but for gas. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I, I think that one works. <laughs> And also on, on the solar side, really, people are installing mini so, uh, power plants on top of their houses or microgrids in rural areas. So we are making sure that those work efficiently, right? Uh, renewables rely more on weather. So we kind of like look into the weather and see how much power we're going to produce versus the demand that is coming. So as to, you know, when you have a solar, fi- uh, solar farm there, uh, you have the ability to say, uh, do we have enough power today to actually power the people that are depending on, 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 on that solar farm? So basically, that is what we do. We have developed a platform that makes it easier for the operators to provide that service to the end users. Wonderful. Um, Desire, you are the operations leader. Yes. Tell me about the operations. He has just uh, given us exactly what will be happening on the ground. And I want to think people now appreciate it. Oh, is this what these guys are doing? And it sounds very exciting. Very exciting where you can monitor your gas use and it can be deployed to you using technology. But on the ground, tell me about the operations. Is this already happening? Is this going to happen? And how are you guys doing it? Okay, yeah. So thanks. So I think I think on the operation side, it is something that's already happening. We have um, at least already deployed close to 50 meters around Harare and Blawayo mainly, mm. and we have um, we have at least around 40 more meters to deploy. I think in the next t- few weeks we would have uh, finished with those meters. And um, I guess I guess as he said, just to mirror what he said, what we are trying to do is we're taking advantage, you know, of what we there's a movement called the I. Internet of Things that's going on. Sure. So you know, with everybody using the internet now, we are t- also trying to plug in and say, you know, in the next few years, nobody really wants to be carrying their cylinder to to the service station. Mm-hmm. Nobody really wants to be, you know, uh, running out of gas in the middle of the night, or you know, not knowing how much gas is left in your cylinder. So mm-hmm. what mm-hmm. we are trying to bring across is a system whereby you know players. Um, uh, and everyone in the in the industry gets gets a platform where you know players can get to supply their people and um, clients also get to know how much is left and we get that system which is sort of like how you buy your Zesa to say even if it finishes in the e- evening in the middle of the night you actually just go able to go to on, on your app and say okay I want ten kgs and you buy your ten kgs and voila your gas is back up. Mm. Yeah, very interesting. I love the way that sounds. But um, I want to go back to to just uh, need energies. What are some of uh, the the highlights that you can tell me about uh, uh, need energies? Because people need to have a bit of trust. Good. Who are these guys? So I'm I'm not sure who's going to take that. Leroy or Desire? Who's going to take that one? Just some of the highlights. What have you guys achieved so far? Yeah, well, uh, I think we've done fairly well. Mm -hmm. Uh, Really, uh, for example, last year, uh, we were the first African startup to make it for Startup Bootcamp Australia Energy Tech. Wow. Uh, as a Zim startup. Uh, and this year we've been awarded as a top 15 startup in the world by the World Energy Council and uh, the Germany Energy Agency. Uh, yeah, and, and, you know, like that has been really our, 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 our milestones or like, you know, how can I call it, you know, like the recognition that we've we have got uh, from the energy industry, from the energy player, and we're quite uh, happy that we have put Zimbabwe uh, on the map. You know, now people in Australia, for example, we're doing a proof of concept in Australia where we're working with over two thousand smart meters at the edge of the grid, right? And these are African guys building tech to be used in a more advanced or mature market like Australia. Hmm. So yeah, I think with that we have done really fairly well. For ourselves. Great desire. Maybe the last question uh, for you guys uh, is um, the the size of the project that you guys are taking on sounds very humongous. And uh, somebody who's listening to it might say, mm, "Isn't this too ambitious?" But you you say you're on the ground already. Who are you collaborating with to make sure that this dream becomes big? Because look, you've just given us uh, a lot of hope, Uti. And Chetakuri gas cylinder. I'm not carrying it around. And sometimes you want, <laughs> and this always happens. It's a fight that I'm sure happens in the home. Uh, and usually it's, 
and I'm so sorry, I'm going to help But you guys are saying you're going to be using the Internet of Things technology to make sure that we don't have those problems anymore and carrying of these uh, heavy gas cylinders. Who are you collaborating with to make sure that that is happening? All right, no, thank you. Yeah, so I, I think I think our approach really has been an open end kind of approach. We are tech guys. We we are not in the business. We we are not in it to sell gas or to sell solar panels. Mm -hmm. We are we really want to plug be the plug between the guys who are doing that and the clients really and just make it more convenient. So it has been an open end kind of system. Mm -hmm. And I guess I guess for the first movers, you know, we've got your big big players in the market. Uh, if I can mention them, you know players like uh, Zuva and um, other players also on the solar side like uh, uh, DPA uh, mm -hmm. you know these are the early adopters of, of our system and we are really hoping for 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 something like this to explode and in terms of the ambition yes it is ambitious i we 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 have we have always had this bias that you know even a startup like ours coming from this country can can go global and sure i think that's our our reach when you ask us where we want to end up with this i think it is a global it's a global level and yeah fantastic how do people find you on uh, social media platforms maybe they want to get in touch I need energy uh, you can find us on linkedin uh, my personal handle is leroy tinyangani then desire is desire masunda then on twitter we're also active on twitter need an hzw uh, that's also our handle so you can get in there dear dear mass uh, on twitter or myself uh, the team will be there actually to respond all right thank you very much leroy thank you very much desire um i love the way that sounds and i love the way the need energy is going well done and uh, all the best in all your endeavors and soon we'll be chatting again yeah thank you so thank much you for your so time much. Play your role in safeguarding the future. Keep it clean. Keep it green.